encourages um, everyone to take this opportunity. Um, even though it's optional, many people get uh, rewarded for their achievements and we are encouraged to reward them. This year I took part in the Physics Olympiad, which was really good because it challenged me. Um, a lot of the questions were based on A-level topics, but they um, required you to use your national thinking and think outside the box to answer them. We went on a trip to the National Space Centre, which made us look at how technology is being developed through rocket building and modelling and weather technology, which we found really interesting as we don't learn things like that at school. Okay, so um, our STEM week is a whole huge school event um, that involves all years from seven all the way through to sixth form. Um, we have lots of cross-curricular activities going on during um, class time. Uh, we have lots of gifted and talented events for our sixth form and we have lots of special guests come in and do special shows for our key stage three classes. Um, it's a great opportunity for people to understand what STEM is and to get involved. Uh, so the Heath and Science Fair is a wonderful opportunity for year seven to eleven to get involved in science. Um, they get to compete with each other for prizes and house points. They get to research areas of science that they might not have uh, looked at before. Um, and they get to do experiments that they might not get to do before and present it to our judges. So uh, part of our physics A-level, we take some of our students to CERN in Geneva um, to look at the LHC and the whole complex around the laboratories and they get to go to the UN building um, and what else do they get to do? They get to do a boat ride and they get to see all of Geneva and it's very good for our A-level students um, to go and see where we can actually use physics in the real world. So this year I've been involved a little bit with Astronomy Club, it's mostly been Miss Black and Mr Bowman, but Astronomy Club has been amazing. We have booked time on public access telescopes and got high resolution photographs of galaxies and objects thousands and millions of light years away. We have designed and built radio antennae that we've used to communicate with a satellite and we've observed how that satellite's behaviour changes during a solar eclipse. And that's only a small part of what we've done, including building rockets, making comets with dry ice. It's been a really fantastic way of getting some of our brightest and best of the sick formers working with people right the way down through to year nine who are all super keen about the, the, the physics of the universe. Okay, so Charity Week is a time of the year when students get the chance to um, show off their skills in design activities to raise money. Um, it's an excellent opportunity for entrepreneurial skills to be developed um, for all ages. Um, they design activities that will help raise money um, in year bases and do very well at it. Uh, this year we raised £14,000 to go towards our three charities which are chosen at a local, national and international level um, along with sort of main form events where the whole school gets involved. Um, and an international charity. This year we raised over £14,000. During the week there are lunchtime events where we showcase the school's talent and also raise money for those charities. Okay, so we've recently done the Kickstart event, which was run over three days for applied business students. The purpose of it was to get them used to going into a workplace, finding out about how that business works and operates within the modern world and how they need to develop their skills which would be of use to both them and the employers. So as an example I took two students to Sky and they did a workshop which was all about team building um, and then they had a tour of the studios and they also got um, 
information from one of the heads of Sky all about her career, how she developed it and the advice that she could pass on to them. Okay, so we work in collaboration with Spark. Spark are a charity that are a bridge between business and education. So they provide us with opportunities for our students. Um, for example, the Kickstart event um, and also the TEDx talk. As part of the Youth Women's School, the Business and Economics Department have successfully run a business enterprise session where the kids use their initiative to raise money um, for, and they did this by washing cars on a weekly -week basis and they advertised around the school so staff were paying them five pounds a car. Okay, in February of this year we did the Year 9 World of Work Day, or WOW Day as we like to call it, um, and that was an opportunity for Year 9 students to explore their GCSE options. There's also a way of us bringing in international employers into the school, um, employers such as Sky, we had Sky lawyers come in to discuss law and the uh, educational pathways for those students. We had um, Mercedes came in as well, we had an apprentice from Mercedes talking about the apprenticeship opportunities for a worldwide company such as them. And we also had BP. And BP came in and spoke to our students about the variety of career options within oil and gas, which is obviously what they specialise in. Um, the apprenticeships available, the graduate schemes, and the career opportunities worldwide. vastly more marketable and you get to do it while doing something that you think is amazing anyway. I don't see why anyone wouldn't Terms love this qualification. We you know, continually look for different opportunities for students to develop themselves beyond the curriculum and to sort of um, have an appetite for, for learning. As part of our Most Able programme, we encourage as many students as possible uh, to get involved in the EPQ, the Extended Project Qualification, uh, which requires them working independently on a range of different issues that, that, that interest them that aren't actually uh, connected to their area of study. Uh, and we find that students really benefit from that. A more recent initiative is last year we subscribed to the Brilliant Club whereby 24 of our students um, have worked on the programme. They've attended a launch event at Royal Holloway University. They've worked for uh, six sessions with a PhD student in um, a group of four. They've produced work beyond A-level um, and they've been awarded at the graduation ceremony in Oxford with a, 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 a class such as a first 2-1 or a 2-2. Two -two. Aside from that, obviously for all of our students we like to create as many opportunities as we can. 
We've had a book club, we have a philosophy film club, we have social sciences film club, all of these things. Some of our students go off to Eton College to attend lectures, particularly in the sciences. Um, as I say, we do as much as we can to broaden our students' horizons beyond their studies. steering group which consisted of 16 um, fantastic students who led our WOW Day here at Heathen School. It was a great success. The purpose of the day was to highlight um, gender inequality and challenges that we, we still face um, and to celebrate the achievements of women in all, all walks of life in, in um, STEM careers in particular we looked at. It was a really successful day and hopefully it's interesting. But club this year was um, a really enjoyable experience. Um, we had a bunch of teachers and a bunch of students all read the same book for a period of time and we had deadlines. So once we finished the book, we'd all get together and just discuss any controversial issues within the book or any um, issues that we thought were quite prevalent within the book. It, it was really fun. So the first book that we read was um, The Oryx and the Crate by Margaret Atwood and there were a lot of controversial issues, issues regarding the media and also some industries. It was really fun. We have our own sixth form book club that we started last academic year, so it's been running for two years now. Um, and this is an event where it happens about once every term we put on a book club where the students who come think of some challenging um, and usually quite uh, difficult and inspiring novels that they'd like to read. So we've done uh, The Catcher in the Rye recently, Giovanni's Room. And
they then have opportunity in the lessons to reflect on how they've done and to read the teacher's comments and to make sure they understand um, how they did but also how they can progress. So underneath the marking comments from the teacher which is in the form of what went well, www and even better if EBI. We ask the students to write an MRI, which is my response is, and then that allows the student to feedback to the teacher based on the comments that they've received. And that can happen at the beginning of the lesson, once the books have been uh, given back, so they can have two to ten minutes at the beginning of the lesson, um, or it could be incorporated more into their own activity um, if the teacher feels that there are something, quite a few students that there's an area that they need to work on. So that gives the students time to reflect and improve on how they've done before. Um, we also have academic tutoring at the beginning of each term and that allows students to set themselves targets uh, for that term. So these could be based on their recent PIP data, which is a pupil information point. So it could be on their attitude to learning. So there might be certain subjects that they need to improve their attitude to learning in, or it could be an achievement um, that they need to, to reach by the end of the term. And they set themselves three targets and then these are reviewed every half term as to how much progress they're making and whether or not they're going to reach their targets by the end.